so code is kind of what like runs the world nowadays, right? Like, so you open up your iPhone, you see a notification, you tap it, um, that talks to a server and then that gives you some information or you like open Instagram, you see a video, it's like streamed from a server and all that runs on code. So people just write silly texts into the computer um, and then save it and then put it somewhere on a server or on your phone and then it does something, right? It, and it, it feels a bit magical, right? And then normally all this code is written at some company and they keep it to themselves. And they think, okay, this is our intellectual property. If somebody else gets this, they'll build a much better app than we do. And then, you know, we go under, we go out of business. Mm -hmm. And um, open source is the idea is that you write code and you just give it away for free and anyone can use it to build whatever they want. Um, and also you can use whatever anyone else is building and take that to build your own thing. And so for me, this journey started when I was a teenager as well. And so I think I, I just got this conviction really early on in my life that this is really important. And so one of the major things there that, so, so one thing was like, I, I grew up in the countryside in Austria. And so access to information was like, you know, it was only like about 22 years ago, but access to information, like, you know, how do you program something that just didn't exist? I couldn't go to the library and be like, here, you know, give me a few books about how to program, right? All that information was on the internet for free. And back then you could go on a website and click you know, do a right click and then it says this, there's this magical button saying view source. So mm -hmm. you could basically see anything that anyone put on a website. Like nowadays it's like all hidden and masked and like compiled. So it's like very hard to see. But back then you could just go and see what any, whatever anyone else built and like copy it and build, like make your own thing. And I found that fascinating. And then I came across Linux, which is like a, uh, an operating system like, you know, iOS or Windows or Mac OS. And the guy who created it, he's a pretty controversial figure. Um, and he's like rude, rude on the internet quite often, maybe just a very angry man, like whatever. I, I don't appreciate that part about him. But he wrote this book where he just outlined his values about giving code away for free. And I, th I thought that was just so powerful because, you know, you, you create, you write all this code and you like put it somewhere, you sell it or whatever. And then maybe you reach like a hundred companies and, you know, maybe, yes, it's more lucrative. You know, you can make a lot of money off it, but you give it away for free and like, you know, the entire world might use that code, right? And so that was fascinating. So even as a teenager, I got into open source projects. So I contributed to them. Um, there's like certain websites where you go and then all these projects are there and you can um, make friends. Um, I made a lot of friends. And that's also how I eventually ended up at Facebook working on open source technologies. Yeah, interesting. Um, and so it's always been a part of me, uh, of my life and my career. So I thought that if I'm building a company, I want to be as open as possible.